I would like to welcome the panelists here. I'm going to introduce uh, them one by one to you. And I'm going to start with Professor Dr. Udo Helmbrecht. He is the Executive Director of the European Network and Information Security Agency, ENISA. And he studied physics, mathematics, and computer science, worked in different positions, first in the field of the industry, in the energy industry, insurance, energy engineering, and whatever you name it. But now he is part of the uh, ENISA, ENISA. And before that, he was the president of the <coughs> BSE. We have another member from the now uh, ongoing president now. This is the Federal Office for the Information Security. Um, yes, all about security, so security, security, security. Um, please, uh, I guess, do you have some slides or no? Please give us your view how to enable trust in the European cloud. Thank you very much for this uh, kind introduction and a warm welcome from my side to you. Um, we from ENISA started with a cloud computing topic in 2009, and uh, one of the basic interests is uh, that we want to stimulate uh, cloud computing business. And if you look from a human perspective and uh, talk about IT security, we as ENISA are, you could call it, a common market agency. So it's an interest to have in the end uh, a benefit uh, for citizens, for the governments, uh, for the industry. So um, just a small promotion for our work. So uh, you are always um, invited to look on our website for our papers because the biggest challenge for our European agency is not everyone knows us and uh, looks to our website. So we... Uh, looked into service level agreements. Um, we uh, have an important topic, which is certification. Uh, we also uh, work together with international organizations. Uh, we have Mr. Katedu here. So uh, where we also want to promote it in the industry that we have then standards in the end. So if you look from this perspective, if you talk about IT security, I think it's important that we have standards uh, where you can rely on standards where the industry have uh, competitive business models uh, and can be sure that there is, is a, a market which is a fair market. Uh, certification is important because the question is always uh, how to build trust in services you have. So this means uh, certification schemes and procedures give you um, a certain kind of uh, assurance uh, um, what is um, uh, investigated, audited, uh, uh, you can rely then that standards are really uh, implemented, uh, that uh, common business procedures, best practice are implemented. So um, this is why we promote these discussions if it's uh, on Etsy, on a European level with the industry. And um, even if we sometimes start with de facto standards of industries, I think everything what, what helps to have a common basis, a common understanding uh, supports us. Um, let me just give a few examples, uh, just to give you, let's say, some um, impression what I experience when we talk about cloud computing the last couple of months. I think you will come back to this question also. Um, the discussion about NSA and Snowden uh, is something where the question is, um, what influence does this have on uh, the business model of cloud computing? The biggest fear is um, that people don't trust anymore enough in cloud computing services. Um, interesting enough, I had a discussion with a, a big provider a couple of days ago from US who told me that there is, in the business area, more reluctance to use cloud computing services, but not with the citizens because they say we might not like this, but what alternative we have? The message from this is that there's a big chance for European business models. You had the discussion in the morning with the steering board on the European Cloud Initiative. 
I think this is really what you can take with you. There's a big business chance in Europe. Also, the point is that if you look into current service level agreements of big cloud computing providers, um, some of them explicitly say uh, that they move the data you have stored in their cloud out of the European legislative boundaries. And this is difficult for small companies or medium companies who are not able to negotiate service level agreements with the big players. So I think this is something just what we have to take into account where we have to improve it. Um, I want to conclude with just uh, five points, let's say as key messages in this area. So certification, as I said, is an important point. Uh, we have the discussion at European level on the network information security directive. There's also one part about uh, uh, incident reporting, breach notification. This is important that we get a picture. We have it currently in the telecommunication sector, but we need it in other sectors. The public sector is very important, the government sector, because it's a huge procurement power. So this means government down to municipals can do a lot in improving this, getting this business model running. Privacy, of course, is important, uh, but I think we will discuss it more in the discussion. And then, I think a basic statement, I also want that you take it with you. We have so many solutions which can be used in this area for security and privacy, but we don't get them on the road, we don't use them. We have technology, we have qualified electronic signatures, we have encryption, and if you would use these technologies, it would help a lot. Um, just a final statement, um, we just uh, finalized a survey, um, which is still hot from the printing. It will be published a couple of days, uh, in a couple of days. It's a survey about Europe's member states and some surrounding member states, how they deploy cloud computing, governmental clouds, and what is the maturity in the member states. I think this also gives you then an overview where we stay and what we have to do. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Um, maybe we go one step back and just ask, um, is the cloud in general, is this uh, a trend or a movement that is helpful for IT security or maybe the opposite? Maybe just some very basic question. Uh, from my understanding, the cloud is definitely an increase of IT security. And some of you might be surprised, but my argumentation is as follows. We are talking still today increasing IT security. We are not there where we could be. And if you look at a lot of citizens, small companies, medium companies, they don't have the resources for IT uh, departments, they don't have resources for IT security officers. This means if they go to a cloud where IT is professionally managed, where IT security is professionally managed, they all have an advantage. And this is the majority of the European companies. Okay, let's